Okay, and uh, Joe. Well, I mean, the thing well that was like a failure. A, that was no proof well, of evidence. That was opinion. But go ahead. Let's go to Joe. Let's see if he's got something better. It's like if, if Frank says, okay, I have $5. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. But if he says, well, I have now, you know, a whole unicorn in my pocket. A so unicorn! Yes! For you guys have Santa syndrome. You guys have Santa syndrome. That's what it what? is. So, I mean, how, what proof do you have for, for, Christ, for Christianity? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and dip my toes in the water, even though you guys, everyone would agree that you have, I'm going to answer your question, even though you guys will agree that you, would you agree you have not provided proof or evidence that atheism is accurate and correct? You've, you've provided opinion? Well, let Where me can I look at the proof and evidence that atheism is accurate and correct besides the unicorn? What do you, can I ask you a question, too? What do you atheists got with Santa Claus and unicorns? You love them. Because it's just and it's comparable monster. to Jesus. Well, well, that, I think that's well, who do you guys think is, Jesus is? is, is well, I'll ask you a question. I'll, I'm going to let you guys escape the question because you obviously cannot provide proof or evidence on live radio. Well, what, what, who do you guys think Jesus Christ is? You have, oh. Oh, well, it depends on which Jesus Christ you're talking exactly. about. There's the Jesus Christ of the literary Jesus Christ of the canonical Gospels, the Jesus Christ of the uh, Gospels that didn't so make it into the canon. who do you think he is? Basically, well, it's basically whatever you imagine. It's who do you it's think he is? It's a legend. There are about as many different views of Jesus Christ as there are people. Look at the pictures people draw and the statues people make. Jesus is white. Jesus is black. Jesus is Jewish. Jesus is Aryan. Jesus is I can tell you, you. I can make prove to you guys. Your, I can prove to you oh, God exists. Are you ready to listen? Whatever you make up in your mind. And the point is, you're asking for proof or evidence of atheism. You no, I'm not. I'm saying that it's accurate or correct. He seems angry. He's I'm not angry at all. I love you guys. Well, you're I love you guys. I just say you're an atheist. Do you guys love yeah. me? Let's, hold on one moment. Let's go Wait, back. Do you guys to love you me? Did ask for I love you guys. Ed. All right, hold on a second. Hold on, real. We, okay, this is this is our show. We're going to get an engine. We're going to get a word in edgewise. The question that this caller asked was, "What proof or evidence do you have that atheism is accurate?" Of course, the moment we start touching on that, he immediately interrupts, just repeating himself over and over again like some maniac. Talks about the madness he was in. I don't think he's left it yet. Now. What we need to do, if you're going to give proof or evidence of anything, I'm trained in mathematics, so I know what proof is. Proof is something that you demonstrate rigorously. Now, that's great. If someone has a mathematical definition of God, I'm willing to hear it. But let's stick with evidence. The evidence for atheism is the simple fact that people don't believe in a God. Atheism is not a claim that God does not exist. I think that's the basic error that this caller is having. He thinks that atheism is the claim that God doesn't exist. Rich, you're wrong. That's not what atheism is. Atheism is a description of being without God, being without a belief in God. We don't believe in gods. What's there to prove about that? There's nothing that needs to be proven. Now, if you want to say, well, when we're considering the question, is there a God, can you prove there's not one? No, but who cares? I can't prove there's not a million things. I can't prove there isn't a God hiding on the other side of Mars right now. Maybe there is. Maybe, maybe there are 10 of them or 20. But that doesn't matter. Just because I can't prove it doesn't mean I have to believe it. It's just like you don't have to believe in Santa Claus or leprechauns or whatever other fairy tales you might imagine in order not to believe in them. So we have a really basic shifting of the burden of proof. This is a common very common logical fallacy that so many hysterical religionists make that they say, oh my goodness, they've, they're, they're contradicting what I believe. Prove that I'm wrong. Well, Rich, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm not going to prove that you're wrong because, number one, it's impossible to prove something when you can't even define it. Number two, I don't care what you believe. Most atheists don't. If you leave us alone, let us be equal citizens with equal rights, we're happy, and we defend the right of everyone to believe what they will, what they won't, uh, as they choose. At least that's what Atheists of Florida does here in the state of Florida. I like John Kiefer's bumper sticker. It says, we have the f fossils. We win. Well, that's a different issue. <laughs> Should I hang up, or am I on the line? No, we'll no go ahead. ahead. We'll give you your oh, we'll give I, you didn't, your I didn't want to interrupt you guys. 
Um, seriously, guys, I think it's, it's a good – I'm glad you guys have the show. I think it's very important because – I have to choose between the most famous person in the world, the most famous book in the world, Jesus Christ of the Bible, or I can Muhammad believe Ali. in the words oh. of Dawkins. Do you guys believe Dawkins is correct? When Dawkins says he believes About aliens, yeah. he believes aliens. Uh, Dawkins needs to phone home. Do you know in you one of Dawkins' books, Ron he said, Hudder. hey, come on, guys, I'm talking. You remember when Dawkins said, there's no way, this, let me do my Dawkins imitation for you. The God of the Old Testament is a bloodthirsty homophobe, an ethnic cleanser, Jealous, petty, and proud of it. But the problem is, as Ben Stein asked him, Mr. Dawkins, where's your, ev where's your evidence that, where's your evidence that, where's your evidence? And he goes, well, I receive letters. Dawkins receives letters? There's over six billion people on the planet. The problem is, Dawkins says on one hand that God could not exist. Then he says that God could exist. So the question I have for you guys is, it sounds like you're saying that God could exist. You guys aren't atheists. You're agnostics. You need to change okay. the show to agnostics of Florida. Or do you guys totally well, then, just, do you not I mean, believe God exists, or do you believe he could exist? You're, you're not a Christian. You're just a wanna believer. You don't really believe in Christianity. Well, actually, you just I, don't hate Jesus. I don't hate Jesus Christ like you guys do. You don't even love Jesus Christ. You think, I don't you hate, think that Jesus Christ is as miserable as I don't as hate Jesus do. Christ like you guys do. Neither do we. Why would you think we hate a mythical being? And you know what? I, I'll tell you something, Rich. I'm one of the atheists who does say there is no such thing as God because I understand that all of the 20,000 plus gods that have ever been dreamed up by our species were all just the imaginations of the people who dreamed them up. The very word God is, is just a fantasy. It has no meaning well, or substance. Well, you guys have not provided proof and evidence that atheism is accurate and correct. And, and on my radio show, I do a radio show also. I'm not going to uh, interrupt and give my site out here because I don't want to disrespect your show. But on my show, um, I invite atheists to call in and provide proof and evidence that atheism is accurate and correct. And just like you guys, no offense, I love you guys, but you have failed miserably to provide evidence. That's because evidence you shifted the goalpost. <laughs> after, we, after we gave you the evidence, it, no, you, you said, said it no, on your show. Right. You said it. I got audio of you saying proof and evidence. You you said it. You guys are hypocrites. You know how you said on your show. I got audio of you saying that you need to provide proof and evidence. Well, you guys, you need to provide proof and evidence that atheism is accurate and correct. I'm going to give you one last chance. Already I'm not going to talk. Go ahead and provide proof and evidence that atheism is accurate and correct. Go ahead. Okay. I'll listen to the show. That that question was asked and answered. The fact that atheism you never answered it. What did you say? Look, what was the proof? Where is it? Where can I find this proof and evidence that atheism is accurate and correct? Next call. Come on. All right. We got another caller, Rich. Nice to hear from you. Thanks for running from the show.